Hello and welcome to Newsfest Addis, your daily source of news voice locally, regionally and internationally. With today's news, I am Merun Getacho. Stay with us. And the first news, Ethiopian Parliament revokes Dr. Chalawat's immunity. The House of People's Representative have voted to revoke Member of the Parliament Chalawata. Dr. Chala, former president of Bulehora University, has had his immunity revoked, accused of corruption, related offense and work outside of the government procurement procedures, which leads to embezzlement. The Parliament approved the decision to revoke their immunity by majority vote with one abstention, Dr. Chalawata himself. In another news, East African states showing new interest in purchasing Ethiopia's electric city. A number of East African countries, including Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, South Sudan and Somalia, have shown strong desire to purchase electric city from Ethiopia, the Minister of Water and Energy said. Minister of Water and Energy Senior Engineer Advisor Gosai Mengisti said that there is a growing desire among East African countries to purchase power, notably electricity, from Ethiopia. Ethiopia has captured the attention of East African countries' vision of diversifying sources of energy owing to comparative abundance of its water supply. Accordingly, the country wants to increase its electricity exports and capitalize on the immense water resource as a reliable source of foreign currency. To satisfy the growing electricity demand from home and the East African countries, Ethiopia has been hugely investing in power connectivity and to become a regional power hub. In line with the East African Power Pool Plan, the country has also made extensive activities to enhance its power export capacity and, and for regional power integration, the advisor elaborated. Among other objectives, the pool aims to increase the accessibility of electricity to rural communities and to improve the relationship between the member states. Ethiopia has the opportunity to use Kenya's grid to connect with Tanzania, Rwanda and South Africa or any other country that wants to buy electricity. As to him, one of the biggest strategies of the energy development in Ethiopia is not only to meet the domestic energy demand, but also to connect with the neighbors through electricity. Our neighbors do not have sufficient renewable energy, but we have a large hydropower potential. Therefore, we want to capitalize on such a comparative advantage in the hydro energy. In addition to this, preparations are also underway to expand the electricity export to Djibouti and Sudan. I said. Upon completion, the up by dam Kosha power plant will strengthen continental integration and enhance Ethiopia's role in the Africa continental free trade area and reliable power supply. Power integration will improve our relation with neighboring countries and enhance our forex earnings and that will be allocated to future projects. Currently, Ethiopia exports electricity to Kenya, Sudan and Djibouti. In the last news, UK Parliament members hold discussion with Ethiopian counterpart. Foreign Relations and Peace Affairs Standing Committee of the House of People's Representative held discussion with delegation of UK Parliament members with a view to strengthen parliamentary relations. Foreign Relations and Peace Affairs Standing Committee Chairperson Ambassador Dima Nagar said the main objective of the meeting is to strengthen parliamentary cooperation between the two countries. He added the country have established diplomatic relations dating back to the 19th century, and since then, the two countries have been enjoying excellent relations. The chairperson noted that UK wants to strengthen relations with Ethiopia as they are revitalizing relations with many countries after withdrawal from EU membership. He further explained that members of the Parliament of the House of People Representative have been participating in various parliamentary meetings where it is membership to build the image of the country and contribute to strengthen parliamentary diplomacy. Member of the UK Parliament, Robbie Miller, said it has been a wonderful welcome and wonderful privilege to visit Ethiopia and have a chance to learn about this great nation's history, opportunities and the challenges facing this country. It is wonderful to meet the chairman and talk about the ways to strengthen the links, things that we have in common, the opportunity to build our historic relationship and to see how we can work and look increasing communication between the parliaments. The members of the parliament added that we will take back the invitation to Speaker of the House of Parliament of UK to have a conversation with his counterpart, Speaker of the House of People Representative. Those were our news for today. Thank you very much for staying with us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video.